Alrighty, welcome back to another uh, video on making my Jarvis program. In the first few episodes, we designed just a basic job or basic Python program where it can take in user speech and output a different speech, or it will speak back its results based on what you said. So if you ask, you know, how are you, it'll say I'm good or whatever. If you ask his name, it'll tell you his name. The last episode, we set up the server and uh, server and client stuff for Socket. Um, real short synopsis of it. Um, pretty much, it just someone connects and makes a new thread, and then here is the same main thing where it just says, "If you say this, respond with this," and then it sends it back to your client. And the client, all it does is. Uh, this sends the message to the server, or and then this one is the receives. But alright, so today what I want to work on is a Discord bot. The idea being that we can uh, send messages from my phone or other devices to uh, the Jarvis program through Discord and be able to get responses back in the future. How I want that to work is so that if I had homework, I could send him a message, hey, I have homework, and he could open up certain files based off that onto my computer. So, all right, we're just going to start by just uh, copying uh, the client, and we're going over to Discord bot. Let's see. So, this already does a lot of the stuff for us. So, now we're going to get into the new degree. So, for doing the discord bot and for uh, scraping discord this could, they could be taken the same way we're gonna we have to import two files so we're importing result or request uh, and importing json and then we're gonna make two more definitions so def and to be send the discord has any text pass for now and def retrieve discord and pass. All right, so we're gonna start with sending, I think. So for sending, all we're gonna do is we're, we have to do a little bit of formatting. So we're gonna do payload equals open close and then we're going to do open content and then colon and it's going to be text and then we have to set up our headers headers equal that and we need to authorize this key so give me just a second I'll show you how to get that So for the authorization key, the easiest way to get it is go into um, Discord. This is a new Discord just for this. I'll be getting rid of it right after we're done. What you're going to do is Control shift i That'll open up uh, the inspect window, and you're going to navigate over to network. So once you're there, you're going to have... Well, this probably all won't be... Let's see if I can reload this. Control shift i So, see there's nothing down here. All you're going to do is just type in a message. So we'll say hello and send it. And now you have a message variable. When you open that up, you can see the request. So this is what we're going to be sending this to. And we don't need that right this second. We'll come back to that here in a moment. And you can scroll down. And right here we have authorization. You're going to need this really long string. And then paste it. Alright, now after that, we're going to do r equals requests dot post. And now we need to pass in that, lo that uh, variable up here, this URL. That's the whole thing. So now paste that in. And then to pass in, we need data equals payload. 
headers. Equal headers. And then that's all for that side. So now here, this is currently sending the value back out onto your, like a print statement. Instead, what we're going to do is send Discord and save. Now, I'm going to run the server, or I'm going to kill whatever is already running and start the server. Open a new window and run the Discord bot. And we're going to say hello. He's going to respond with something. And then if I go open this up, you should be seeing the response. What we could do is Jarvis MSG equals that. And then we're going to do print um, Jarvis MSG and then Discord Jarvis MSG. Try it again or not. Server run. I don't know why, but if I click off just right, it keeps closing out the edit or the recording software. Anywho, run the Discord bot. Now I want to see something. Is there a problem? One active connection? No. Do you want to say hello? Send it through, send it back, but didn't send it to Discord. Oh, yes it did. Right. No. At 36. So you can see the last one was at 36. Should be sending now. So, let's see over here. Send message, send Discord. Yep. That has no problem, so... Just double checking, payload equals open. Maybe I should spell stuff right. Content. So let's start up another one. Hello. And now if we pop over here, you can see there's our new response at 1241. All right, so the sending is going fine. Now, the reason I did sending first, it's super easy. Retrieving isn't as bad, but, there's a big but. I'll explain as we go. For now, let's just get into it. So retrieving, we're gonna do headers equals, and it's literally just gonna be the same thing as this, so I'm just gonna copy that. Control V. All right. R equals requests dot get and then you need to come and it's pretty much the same IP as this one it's just slightly different so I'm going to copy it and paste it in so we're going to do slash limit equals one which means you're just going to get the last value and headers equals headers now we have json and i'm putting two ends to make it its own value so json dot loads r dot text we can literally just print out json right here um to actually show you what that looks like i'll go over here and for now get rid of that print JSON 
So that might be, you know, that could be important information. Um, let me actually kill these and then run this one. Oh, I'm on send. Tree messages. So yeah, you can see all this. So you can get the username here, for example, or author. All we're getting right now is content, which is hello there. But you can also get the author and pass it the variable, which I might try to do because I have an idea or something that might help. So for value in JSON, the one with two ends, we're going to re return as a string value of content, which is going to give you the content. But usually you also want the person. So we'll go ahead and pass author string sorry I've been coding a lot of Java value of author So should return both those. So now, when you come down here, this can go away, because we're not going to be doing that anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to, re we'll do author and msg equals retrieve discord. Just like that. And then we'll say, um, we're going to print author. For now, we'll get rid of that. All right, so first, Jarvis, add, run it. New Discord bots. Run that one. Uh, misspelled something. Yep. Run. Oops. String indicates must be integers. Maybe let's pass in zero then. Let's see what pops back. One of these times I'll do the right thing. Whoops. So maybe I do that. Like I said, one of these times I'll do it right. Nope. All right, so we'll just return the content right here. I had an idea, but it wasn't working. And then we can print out the message. Okay. That's a problem. That's not supposed to happen. Because if you come over here, so this is my test file, and we print the JSON, that's fine. It's going to give me, all right, let's just kill these. Okay, it gives me this whole thing. I could just do print. Um, String value 
content. And that's going to give me. Sorry. For value in JSON. Get hello there. So let's print JSON dot. So JSON is a list, right? Do zero. Let's see what we get. Then maybe maybe instead of content, we pass in. Author. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now we got this printing out. Ooh. So we can do author equals and then name equals author we're gonna do username we're gonna print name run okay there we go that gives me what I want Let's jump back over to the Discord. Or to the bot. Before that, we're going to do author equals value of, what was it? Value of author. Nope, there we go. Author. And then we're going to return a string value of author. We're going to pass in name this time. Sorry. User name. And that. Then down here, where we pull out the message, we're also going to type in author. And that. So now run. Oh. Forgot this is the server. Trace back. Author equals value author. Which is exactly what I did over here. I hate that my highlights aren't going through anymore. They help a lot. That might be. Whatever. So. For value in JSON, return the string of content to just run dandy. But what about this one? Can I not. Just return that then. Sorry. Must be integers. Print JSON. Forgot to save. Save, save. It's 
Mm. Any bots can use this endpoint. That's not supposed to happen. Alright, so let's come back up here. Let's see what we got. Retrieving messages. So if I just send a message. I'm going to my Discord. I'm going to say hiya. So now... We're down here. Let me even look at the little for this one. All right, let's see. Getting somewhere now. Yes. So it looks like just adding that little bit was just messing it up, so it's fine now. No, I didn't. Oops. Thank you. So let's undo all this. Oops. So now exit. Hmm. What we're gonna do? Whoops, scroll up. Is we're gonna take this value right here, we're gonna remove it for now. We're gonna say if author um username does not equal jar this underscore, which is the name of the, that account. We're gonna return value content as a string, just to be safe. So now it's like that, it's gonna now give me message MSG. So if I run this, sorry, say first. Should still say, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Break. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So now, let me go, sorry, let's look at this one. I'm gonna grab these two now. We're going to get rid of that and then control V. So if shutting down is in it, looping is false. And we'll send that message back. Let's see what happens. Looking at my screen. Shows that I said hi, yeah. I haven't got a response. So let's kill. So let's run, let's put in some prints. Print sending discord MSG. Retrieving print retrieving MSG uh, 
Oh, I know what it is. Duh. I just figured it out. It was super simple too. Print. So it's retrieving. Hello. I gave him a message that he couldn't use. It's one of the problems. So I'm saying hello. Um, do I have an accept over here? Yes, 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 yes. So do else pass. So kill everything. We're gonna run this one again. So this is starting over. Go to Discord clients. And we're gonna jump up and start it as well. Retrieving message that re should retrieve hello. So I said hello. We got that. So now it should. I'm in the wrong thing. Go over here. Pick one of those two and then send it to us. Which that's the last thing right here. Sorry, that's the wrong one. This one. That's this little thing right here. Alright, let's control C. It does not equal Jarvis. Ooh, sorry, I'm kind of like moving my laptop around and it's pulling on the cord to the microphone system. All right, so we just have the original send message, which just sends a message. So it's retrieving it, no problem. It's sending it because I'm getting the response over there. So that's this one. These two. So Jarvis should be sending back a message which gives me this. And it should print it out. But it's not. Retrieving message. Remember this one? It said hello. Coming back. Nothing. Alright, so we're gonna go over here. Okay, so give me finally give me an error. So it is line 45 of the Jarvis Discord bot. Just try running that. Treating said, so it's not being sent back. So kill those. So this send is now failing. Am I 
be just random choice. This is computer programming for you. A lot of trial and error. Treating message. So it said it. So go over here. And do print sending response. So I run the, this Discord client, or this is Discord, this client. Retrieving message. It said hello. Ah, I found it. Remember when I was talking earlier about the voice doing capital lowercase? Yeah, that's a problem. So we can kill these. I'm gonna get rid of this. So we're going to use the, the dot lower. So it's dot lower. Save. And that should be fine. So we're running it. Open up a new one. We're going to run that one. Perfect. But it's sending them no. So this go bot. Yeah, it's printing it. So we need to now do send Discord. Save. Now run it, retrieving. Alright, so it is working, but it's also not. So as you can see, it's just instantly sending, receiving, sending, receiving, sending, receiving. It is sending it out. Um, if I actually go in over here, you can see, maybe later, the 4 billion responses from it. Um, if I do go ahead and add in that little snippet at the end. This is, um, where am I? This Discord. So retrieving them, we'll do question mark, limit equals one. We'll go ahead and do that again. Oops, sorry about that. So it's still sending or receiving way too many. I did not say hello that many times.
That should be right here. So we'll do a try. So try. Or what we can do is if it's not that else, we're going to return just a blank string. Save. Now run. Oops, sorry, PowerShell. There we go. Retrieving message. So, since I have, um, my previous message was from Jarvis, it doesn't say anything, but if I say hello, I'm typing this on my phone, you'll hear it. Let's see what you So it said nothing correct. Oh, I know what happened. It's the same problem from earlier. So kill them both. And you come back to here. And instead of pass, it's just gonna be this. Does it make sense? Now I run this one. And we're gonna open a new file. We're gonna go to the Discord. And do the same thing. So uh, it's saying uh, sending and retrieving. But it's not. I only got one message. So I know what it is. Let me kill it. We're gonna say um, Jarvis MSG equals this control X control V. Now if Jar Jarvis control MSG does not equal blank then sorry tab uh, do Jarvis control MSG save server run it's already running Discord bot. Retrieving, 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 retrieving. So now if I type hello again, should retrieve it. If we jump over to this one, as we can see, it says that I said hello and I've got my response back already. So on my phone, it now says hello. So while it's still running, um, let's see that. All right, I'm back again. It stopped recording as soon as I changed this. So, what I was saying, I was opening it up this way so you can see. Right here is our um, retrieving side. We'll actually set that to server side. And then you can see who it's coming from, who's it going to. So I'm gonna, this is, I'm on my phone to send it. So we're gonna say, um, what is your name? You can see it says it there and then it's printed back out and I can now see that. And then I can still do stuff like shut down. Maybe actually look. Maybe not. That's it. Well, maybe that doesn't work. That should have stopped looping, but it didn't. Doesn't bother me too much. But now that works. And I don't even have to have this open. I can have that closed. So that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, the next episode, I'm going to do another Jarvis client that runs uh, the speech recognition. And then I have another one that does... Um, audio playing and it can either be passed or sorry I'm gonna do one that's part of the listening group
group. So it's going to do the speech recognition, and it'll do the auto reply. And then I'm going to do one that plays music. And the idea is that you can get them to listen, and if it's playing music, tell it to pause verbally, or um, you know, skip songs, whatever, and it'll skip. So that's in the future. So until then, I will see y'all in the next one.